Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the multiple fill in the blank and the multiple select type answer questions. So here we are. This is my WPLMS 2.4 version and I'm going to edit the course. So the reason I'm editing the course is that we get the question templates right in the curriculum where we create the quiz. So I have this quiz, final quiz, and I'm going to edit it. And in the question section, I'll create a new question and say fill blank. Then I'm going to select any tag and I'll select any, select the fill in the blank template and I'll create this question. So right, so once we have created the question, if I edit this question, I'll see that I, instead of one short code, which was previously supported in WPLMS, we now have more than one usage of this fill blank short code. So this will add two fill in the blanks. And the key to this is the correct answer. Here we have the correct answer, which is separated by a pipe. Now the first, the value before the pipe corresponds is the correct answer for this, for, for the first fill in the blank. Similarly for the next fill in the blank, we have the value after the pipe. Now we can add more fill in the blank. So we can add more fill blanks and we can add more correct answers here, which will be verified at the time of evaluation. Next is the multiple select question type. So I'm going to create this again with the question template, which is the drop down select. And here again, I can see that I have two select short code usage. Now the select short code outputs the select drop down, but here I can see that I have another options attribute to this short code. So the drop down select by default will pick all the options which are specified in the add options section. But in case you want to show different options in the select drop down usage, for example, for the first select drop down, I want to show the one, two and three options. So option one, two and option three, these three options will be displayed for this particular select drop down. Similarly, the four, five, six will be displayed for the second drop down. So there's a missing options here. First, I'll have to save this. And now if I preview this question, you can see that I have one, two and three options available in the first set and the four, five, six options available in the second set. So next is the correct answer. So again, here the correct answers are separated by the pipe. So first option number one, which is the option one, is the correct answer for the first select drop down. And option number four, which is this option, which is also the first option for the second select drop down is the correct answer for this. Similarly, we can add more select drop down. We can add more options and we can add a pipe. So note that if I simply use, use it like this, I'll get all the options here and I can type in the correct answer. So the correct answer can be same because there is no connection between the correct answers or it can be different than the previous one. And I can simply save it. And if I reload the preview, I should get three select drop downs. And the last one will have all the, all the options as you can see. That's it from WPLMS updates. Thanks for watching.